Last ride in Switzerland. Tomorrow we are getting off this mountain. I'm gonna miss the mountains, I'm gonna miss the peace and quiet, but I'm not gonna miss slogging up this hill and I'm not gonna miss this cold weather. <music> Sumer's club. I am not gonna miss this thing. I haven't videoed in a couple days, but I'm back at the airport. Let the Rwanda adventure begin. Flight one, Leon to Istanbul. Well, flight was just kind of late, so I'm not sure I'm gonna have time for dinner. I have made it. All my luggage, visa, all good. It's been a pretty long day. It's now like half past one local time here, which is like midnight, 12:30 in France. So long day, but not too bad. Stuck to be here. Stuck to everything went smoothly. Definitely looking forward to some sleep and then to get into the thick of it tomorrow and enjoy this place. Welcome to Kigali. I'm sorry I look so terrible. I've slept for like two, maybe three hours. It's pretty noisy outside early in the morning. Yesterday, before I flew out, I was feeling pretty nostalgic. I was thinking back over the last few months and, and even the last few years, all the stuff that I've, I've managed to do and all the countries I managed to visit and all the races that I've, I've been able to do. I think that happened because when you look forward to something for a really long time, when you finally actually get there, the thing that you've been looking forward to or, or the, the what's next kind of disappears and it becomes your reality. And I'm the kind of person who likes to plan. I like to know what's next. I like to know what's coming. And for the first time in a long time, I really have no idea what's next. And in a way that's kind of scary, but at the same time it's actually really cool because it's going to force me to focus on just enjoying, experiencing and, and just living this race, this two weeks and, and making the most of it. And what comes after that, I'll deal with that when I get there. Let's get on with day one in Rwanda first sort of immediate difference between wherever you are and, and here mosquito nets on both the beds this is like a moderate malaria risk area so these are the precautions you kind of take at night to ensure that you don't get bitten I've actually had malaria before I got it in Kenya in 2006 when I was there I just got child and, and got malaria it wasn't overly pleasant but yeah I live to tell the tale one final thing, I did appreciate the few offers that I had to start a GoFundMe for a new set of jeans. I do appreciate it, but I went out and, uh, and bought some new ones. Look, no holes. First squad rollout in Rwanda. Yeah. Uh, Sketchy doesn't even quite say it. New bike day in the rain in Rwanda on carbon wheels. That's probably got to be one of the sketchiest things I've ever done. The new bike is the Gardo Genix A1. Full review coming in a couple days. I can't really tell what's more slippery, the road or the white lines. Awesome. That's what it is, yeah. The Britain for like half 
an hour and it feels like, like three hours there's so much going on. chaotic but like everyone's super considerate they move for you it was it was super rad wet and slippery but super awesome <laughs>